Okay, hello my friend. Hopefully you are doing great. So in this lesson, we will do one more step uh, for work task. We will try to complete this login form and try to understand how to create a common uh, class to get the web driver. So just go back to the code that's in the previous lesson you can see here. So from the first uh, lesson, we have something in the main here and for the les uh, second lesson, we have the same thing in the main file again to create a web driver instance here. So if we want to uh, do anywhere in our short course and we just copy and paste, copy and paste, it's not a good practice. So the first thing I need to do in this lesson is I will show you how to create a custom class that we can create uh, a web driver instance uh, in your test. Okay. So let's try to create uh, a new package here. Sorry for the background noise around. <laughs> He's playing around. Um, so let name it at com dot edit pro dot uh, YouTube. So this package will contain some utility class inside. So you can name something like com does your name or your company name here and the YouTube here. It's up to you. Okay. It doesn't matter. So after that, I will create a new, uh, another package with the name com dot uh, ss pro dot um, learning ABI learning. So this package, uh, for this package, I view up. Uh, let me try to refresh to enter. So, um, let me try to delete this one. So here, so in this ADI learning bucket, I want to contain all of the class that we're going to explore all the Selenium ADI, how to interact with the web element. Okay, so I will create a YouTube class inside this YouTube uh, package. So just right click and then try to create a new name, uh, a new class with the name uh, web driver. So you pay attention to that. You can see the web driver here with the uppercase from the D letter. I don't want to put it because it will be the same with the web drivers from Selenium. So we will face some error. But if I think another uh, another name that is not good because web driver is something that we can match with the instance. So we just put it as web driver like this, but don't put the letter D with the uppercase. Okay, so we enter here. So inside here, I will create a static function, uh, public static, and I want to return a web driver instance here. So I will just get something like get from uh, driver because as I already explained for you in the first part of, of the tutorial, we will use the browser uh, as Trump. Uh, we will use Trump uh, browser as the main browser to explore the Selenium API. So the first uh, due to function that we just need to return the term driver, that should be enough. We are not talking about the cross uh, browser text things here. It's not the right time. So, okay, just copy over all of the thing here. Till here, okay, copy this one, all of the thing. And you put it here. And finally, we will return a new term driver here and I don't think we need to put something like this. So this get term driver here will return a new term driver with all of the uh, system basic system like, like this. Okay. So let's try to test this style by do something like, let me try to do like delete all the thing here, web driver, driver equal web driver. You see here the web driver from the second one here, succession here from com dot address pro dot YouTube. I select it and then dot get from driver. So after that, I will get the driver instance for my test, right? So let's try to run again to make sure that uh, the function that we have just created is working correctly. Okay. So just run the selector learning dot main methods.
so the browser is launched so that means our function wor is working properly here so everything is working fine okay so let's try to uh, quit the browser so that's it, the first thing so now I will create a new class here uh, under API learning Java class with the name uh, something like uh, login form and in this login form class I want to explore something the how to complete this login form from input username input password and click on the login button because you already knew how to inspect a selector value so we will do, do the same for the password field here and the login field here right so let's create a main method again and this main method let's create a new uh, should be web driver driver equal web driver here and I will call get term driver then after that I will give driver dot uh, get then the string URL should be this URL right so I can boost it here or I can put something like final string test URL equal this one so I can say driver dot get the test URL after that I will driver dot uh, manage dot window dot uh, maximize right so I will declare something like let me declare a web element at the username element equal driver dot file element by uh, id in this case it would be the username hopefully you still remember from the previous lesson and the second one should be the password at the id and this should be the password element so if you inspect here you can see this username we have the id as password uh, uh, the id as username and the password view here we have the username as the password right and the final uh, the final one here if we move the cursor here and then we can see this button have a uh, just a class name radius but so zero and we have something like this one so I will select the type as submit because I do believe that this is the only type submit on this uh, form. So let me try to do to try quickly here in the controller to make sure that selector values is correct. So let's try to boot in the double bracket here and, and then hit enter. You can see the length is one, and then when I move the cursor here. I can see it's highlighted on the left side here. So that means this selector value is correct uh, is correct, and it is a CSS selector here based on the attribute type equal submit. So let's try to declare the login person element equal driver file element by CSS selector, and let's try to replace the value. So in this case, I want to try to replace the double quote here, like the single quote here that I already explained for you. So by declare uh, three uh, variable here as a web element um, here, that means I want to find all of the elements on the page first. Then now I will interact with them. So how to send, uh, how to input to a uh, input box we use the function send keys here and we will send uh, something correct first so enter the Tom Smith here at the username and then I will do the same thing for the password element here so the password should be super secret and we have the marks at the end here and finally what we do we will yield the login button element here and then we will call the ABI click here so you see click here and then we can submit it right so try to run it 
click here and run the login form to see whether it's work correctly or not. Okay, the browser is launched now. And this view input the username and the password. There's something wrong. So, okay, let's see what's the problem. The thing here is an invalid or illegal select were specified in the login form, the line 19. So, in the line 19 here, okay, it's incorrect. You can see what's incorrect because I'm missing this one. The, the double bracket here. Because I'm using the H selector and this type attribute, uh, this is the attribute type, so I need to uh, cover by the double bracket here, right? So let's run again, and I think this uh, this time will be okay. It seems the network connection is a little slow. Just wait a moment. Here you see we call successfully. Um, Input the username, input the password, and click on the login button, right? So um, in this lesson, let me try to summary a little. In this lesson, we create this two package. The first package is the YouTube package, where we are going to contain all of the utility classes inside here to serve for the whole project. And the second one right now is the ADI learning. And in this package, we're going to store all of the class that we are going to explore the Selenium ADI. So at the end of this lesson, we uh, already knew how to uh, find the element and use some basic uh, ADI from Selenium like Senki to input the uh, string into an in in input box and how to click on uh, a button, right? So try to practice yourself and see you in the next uh, lesson. Bye for now.